Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I'm doing a quick review on the books, the Crystal Bible and the Astrology Bible. So even though I am a psychic, I do not know everything about everything in the metaphysical community. I definitely have not studied astrology. Um, I've not studied um, crystals. Um, I haven't even done like palm readings. There are so many facets of being psychic um, and really I'm just drawn to the ones I'm drawn to but you might find other psychics out there that are um, interested in other things. But at the same time I believe it's important to know just a little bit about some of these different things in case somebody asks me a question and I need to know how to answer. Um, and so when it comes to astrology and crystals um, these are my two favorite books because they are so short and concise. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a whole lot of time to read. If I'm not super into it, you know, I just want a quick reference. And so what I love about the Crystal Bible and the Astrology Bible, first the Crystal Bible, is that these are just really simple pages and you can see I've taken notes. Um, it's alphabetical, so I'm looking for onyx. How do I find it? I find it alphabetically and it says um, what it looks like, um, where it's from, how rare it is. And this is um, a very metaphysical related book, so it says like the attributes of it, um, what it's used for in regards to healing, and it'll also go over the specific types and colors of things. So opals, there's several different types of opals. So, um, you know, a water opal is great for scrying versus a green opal, which is great for cleansing, um, stuff like that. So I think this is great because if somebody asks me about a crystal, I can look things up. Um, or if I want to know about a crystal that I just bought, um, which I do have a few crystals, um, then I can look it up and figure out what it means. Now, if you've seen my crystal video, I'm not like a huge believer that these crystals will absolutely change your life. I'm very much an intention based person. So I think that if you have a crystal around, it's just a reminder to set your intention to have more of whatever that is in your life, more healing, more connection with other people. Um, so with all books that I sort of talk about, just remember that even though the book may say this is what this is, um, to trust your own intuition because, you know, I might have Labradorite and maybe I picked up that Labradorite on a trip and that trip I just have this strong memory of being really connected with the people and the friends that I was with. And so therefore I associate Labradorite with like that strong friendship and you know since I bought it on that trip um, anytime I want more of that strong friendship energy I'll pull that out and I'll remember because it's associated with that memory. Um, but it might not say that in this book. It might not say anything to do with friends. So really, again, trust your own intuition. Assign the meaning that you feel like fits it. Um, and know that um, this is not the Bible. <laughs> I know it says it's the Bible. But really don't treat it that way. Because your intuition and your gut feeling um, are more important. Because, you know, when you have that anchor, that memory, or that thing that happened around that object or that dream or that spirit guide, you know, that um, memory is going to stick with you more than, you know, what something in a book is going to say. Now, the astrology Bible, um, I think is great. If you want to learn enough about astrology to have a conversation about some of it, but you don't care too much to go crazy in, de um, in depth. Um, and so this um, book goes over each of the 12 zodiac signs. Now, to be honest, I haven't gone through the whole of this book. I've literally just been through this first half, which is about specifically the signs. Um, but once you go into it more, it talks about very briefly polarities, the different like um, the different planets and how they affect each thing. But what's great is if I really wanted to learn about it, it's very, very brief. Um, and then you sort of get into the back and it starts to talk about angles and, you know, how you work well with other people. My favorite go-to is this page about relationships where you can look up one sign and look up the other and see the compatibility, um, which I think is completely false because when I looked up my husband and I, we had like one little heart and I was like, no. <laughs> 
basically it's a really great quick reference guide especially if you're not wanting to learn everything but you just want to learn a little bit of something um, I would definitely get these quick reference guides and I don't know about you but I also like pictures and colors because I'm a visual learner and it helps me remember more so I have picked up some books before on different topics and if it's just text and it's like 200 pages long I just I don't retain that information um, so I love I love the pictures in here it helps me remember things so if you're only slightly interested in crystals and astrology definitely check out those two um, books um, I will link them in the description down below you're not spending a whole lot of money for something that is gonna take a ton of time to read if you want to check out more products that I recommend visit my website I have sort of a product page that you can just find all the things that um, I love to use and you can browse through there and see if there's anything else that you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, I will constantly um, add new uh, review videos as I buy new products. Again, I only recommend um, products that I like. I don't do reviews on products that I don't like because that's just a waste of your time. Um, and so anything you see on my review page or on my product page is something that I think you should look into. Happy reading. I will see you next time, you guys. Goodbye.